I got Merrick Kingstown to watch. I gotta I gotta watch Merrick Kingstown, which is an absolute banger of forty minutes every single Sunday night on Paramount Plus. It's my is jam. that the uh, hold on? Is that the Hawkeye show? Yes. I uh, mean, shout out to him. I hope he's Jeremy Renner well. show, but yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that's uh, it's I know what I, I know. Fantastic. What it is so much fun. I'll watch anything Taylor Sheridan puts together. Like I'm, I'm going to watch it. Like it's going to be a banger. Um, but I am curious. Let's start here. The stats that have your attention Tej, going into this game. What, what is the stuff that you've outlined that you've kind of run the numbers on? You've been thinking about that stand out the most to you with the Eagles chiefs Super Bowl matchup. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the first one would be how the Eagles, uh, third down sack rate and just their pass rush in general is like leaps and bounds ahead of the rest of the league. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we saw this most recently with how often they got pressure on the 49ers, but this has been a season long thing. And the Chiefs offensive line, it, from an interior offensive line perspective, their center and their two guards are, are really good and have played well this whole year, but their tackles have been susceptible. And we all remember the Super Bowl where the Buccaneers pass rush that was as good as this Eagles pass rush kind of took apart the Chiefs tackles mm. and made it a really tough day for Mahomes. And that's what I'm going to keep an eye on the most in this game is how the Chiefs end up kind of making sure that doesn't happen again. Like when that game happened and that Super Bowl happened, the Chiefs kind of vowed that this would never happen again. And they made moves accordingly so and, and got offensive linemen in there through the draft and through free agency. And it's worked out. Orlando Brown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. Orlando Brown. And, but Orlando Brown and Andrew Wiley haven't played particularly well this year, I think. And um, so I, I, I think that there's going to be a decent amount of 12 personnel from mm-hmm. the, in this game. Travis Kelsey, I don't know if you can count him as part of the 12 personnel uh, since he's basically just a big receiver. But like mm-hmm. I think we'll see a lot of Noah Gray, a lot of Blake Bell, some chip help. Isaiah Pacheco staying in to block more often than he's he's kind of going out into the flat just to make sure that that pass rush doesn't get there under two and a half seconds because that's the path for the Eagles defense to really stop the Chiefs in this game. So you're more concerned about the Chiefs stopping the the front seven of the Eagles more so than Chandler Jones disrupting Jason Kelsey and the interior of the, the Eagles offensive line because we saw it last year with Aaron Donald where he just – absolutely wrecked the Cincinnati offensive line and really shifted that game in a multitude of ways. And I think it's fair to say like he got robbed of a MVP uh, in the Super Bowl last year. I know you're a big Stafford guy, but I think Aaron Donald and what he did in the Super Bowl uh, played a big role in the Rams ultimately winning there. But like, I I guess just because we just saw Chandler Jones do it again and he's got, uh, what is it? 11, 12 sacks this year. And it's just been, Chris Jones has just been awesome all season long. And I'm very curious to see how he how he navigates the best offensive line he'll have faced this year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that's that's a really good point. But what I kind of come back to is that defense is a weak link system, and mm-hmm. offense can, offenses have control over who they can target and who can who they can devote resources to. And I think the Eagles will devote a lot of their resources towards Chris Jones and kind of pick apart some of the other weak links like the Nick Bolton um, kind of linebacker core led linebacker core that, that the chiefs have or some of their secondary pieces, like, like the rookie starting on the outside. And when you look at the Eagles, the really interesting thing about them is they have the largest spread of their neutral game pass rate of any team in the league. So they Mm. vary their neutral game pass rate the most of, of any team in the NFL and they can kind of pick pick and choose which games they want to be heavy run, heavy Miles Sanders, Jalen Hurts design rush games, or games where it's A.J. Brown just dunking on people 30 yards down the field, Devontae Smith over the middle of the field, catching passes for first down. So I think the Eagles staff, their coaching staff, and, and kind of their analytics team is so smart where they might be able to just pick and choose their spots in this game to try to mitigate Chris Jones. That's interesting. I mean, your guy got involved. Brandon Ayuk predicted the Chiefs will expose the Eagles. Evan, do you agree with your guy Brandon's assessment there? So, I mean, you know, the 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 Chiefs have always been the team that I was most terrified of, and that's just because of Pat, Patrick Mahomes, you know. Mm. Um, I, 
you can make fun of me all you want, but it, the Brock Purdy injury doesn't happen. The Niners would have beat the Eagles, and it would have been wouldn't have been close. The fact that the Brock Purdy ripped his arm in half, and then the Niners defense proceeded to make them go three and out three times in a row after that was a pretty good indicator of where that defense was and how they played well. Jalen Hurts. Uh,